here to review the world's end. I reviewed next this is my fourth review of the day. I just reviewed these two movies. By the way, take a look at this blue race set, definitely. Great picture picture quality and audio quality on both of these. Yep. Both fantastic movies. Anyways, this one's fantastic too. I love I love this one. I well I put I really, really, really like so I really, really liked it. Still has some problems. I'm gonna see it again today. I mean, it's a great movie. Great, great, great movie. Ugh. I will say though, I like Shaun the Dead and Hot Fuzz better. My ranked list is Shaun the Dead and Hot Fuzz, then The World's End, the way they were made, basically. Still love this movie. It's fantastic. Oh. Great. Ugh, can't really say it. It's between great and fantastic. That's your word. What how I how the movie is basically. So this movie is about Gary King played by Simon Peck. Nick Frost is his friend. And he, he's living in, basically, he's living in the past, basically, and, um, he decided to get all his friends together to complete this, um, challenge called, like, the 12 mile, golden mile, something like that, golden mile. I probably butchered that drastically, but still. It, whatever this thing's called. And they had 12 pubs one night, and just talk to each other, get to know each other more, because they hadn't seen each other in years, and get drunk. They're totally wasted as an like, alien invasion type of thing goes on, and that's that, that's the, the where the comedy is supposed to ensue. It does. I took this more serious, like I took the room more serious than other people did, so I didn't laugh as many times, but that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I still laughed a good bit. I still laugh consistently. Anyway, so um, oh, anyways, so what? So what? Well, let's see. All right, it's, as I said, it's hilarious. But I took a little more serious. I didn't laugh at every single joke, but. It's hilarious, the characters. As I said in my Hot Fuzz review, Edgar Wright gets you to care about his characters so much. And just the, the acting is another way these characters are so fantastic. You really feel for um, um, Simon Peck's character, Gary King, and it's just a, it's just a great movie. I mean, I love the world's end, I gotta be honest. The more I think about it, the more I love it. The more I love it. Still have flaws, but really do bring it down. But yeah. I'm not, let's keep talking. Um, not, not bring it down that much, though. Anyway, not bring it down that much. Just a smidge. Anyways, so, this movie is great. As I said, Red King's World 2. I mean, if I didn't already mention that, uh, also this movie is very original for its plot, I mean, they had to hit 12 pups one night, get wasted while an alien invasion is going on, this, this has got to be the best comedy I've seen this year, I know I'm saying that, it's, I gotta be honest, it is the best comedy I have seen th this year, I mean, I've seen great comedies this year, but I mean, I, I've seen almost every comedy that came out this year. Maybe even every comedy. Almost every comedy that came out this year. There's only one that I could say was really bad, and that was 21 and over. I mean, I love movies like This, this Is The End, which I gave a B plus. I'm gonna watch it again when it comes out on October the 1st. 
I'm gonna buy it on Blu-ray and um watch it again. And I've been noticing with these comedies, they consist on language. This is a tiny little fly head. They consist on language to get them far. Definitely, this is the end. That's the most vulgar movie I've probably ever seen. Vulgar language movie I've ever seen. Very vulgar. Oh, so much language in that movie. But, but that's kind of what they did here. They didn't, they didn't have much language in these two movies. I mean, this one brings the movie down a little, but that's not the main reason. Um, we'll get to that right now. Um, so the main reason is because it, for, of course, it does start out kind of slow for the first ten minutes. But um, that, that's a that's a problem. But I mean. That's a problem, but that's not my main problem. My main problem is that the ending's very incomplete, and I, it was a, I still couldn't really get into that. And um, at times, it was a little unfunny, and it, it, so I, I didn't take it serious that time. And I, that, this, this should be a joke I laughed at, so I knew something was coming that. And it's, it just didn't hit it for me. But still, I still have consistently, still love the movie. It's great, I'm gonna see it again today. I mean, read my rewatch review, I guess, on Letterboxd. I always make um, re review, rewatch reviews after I see the movie. Again, that is. But yeah, let's see how long I will be talking here. Seven minutes just come in right now. So I'm going to give on the world's end an A minus. It's great. Just a great movie. Love it. Um yeah, it's, it's not technically fantastic, but it's great, great, great. I love it. So that's my review of the world's end, my last review of the day. I've been talking for about an hour now. So I'm kinda of calling down upload these videos, see the world's end again, see the first two Riddicks, go to school tomorrow. Alright, that, that just ruined my day there. I thought of that. Oh man, that was a big pause. Let's see. That's my review of the world's end, so. Peace.